Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have a little bit of fun playing with the Shantakai Fall 2022 collection. I have got the whole collection right here. I've got the two eye quartets. I've got the cougar eye quartet as well as the stunning black jaguar quartet. I also have the coordinating lip sheeks. I've got the cougar lip sheeks as well as the black jaguar lip sheeks. And what I thought we would do today is have a little bit of fun playing with this collection. So I am going to be doing an eye look first with the cougar eye quartet. Then tomorrow I will do the black jaguar, which we're going to have a little bit of fun doing something a bit more bold. This one's got this beautiful ink blue color in here. So stay tuned for that. But I am going to go ahead and swatch both eye quartets for you. I will do a lip swatch of all of them. And then I'm going to create this everyday eye look using the Cougar Eye Quartet. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about Shantakai's Fall 2022 collection, then let's go ahead and get started. So in this collection, we have two stunning new eye quartets. We've got the Cougar as well as the Black Jaguar. And this collection was inspired by Yellowstone's National Park as well as South America's Amazon. And these are so beautiful. And these eye quartets are both $75. The fall collection includes two cougar lip sheiks as well as two black jaguar lip sheiks as well. So four lippies all together. One is coordinating with the cougar eye look and the other is paired with the black jaguar eye quartet. So again, one of them is inspired by Yellowstone National Park and the other is inspired by the Amazon. Okay, here is a swatch of the Cougar Eye Quartet. And starting over here with shade one, we have a matte creamy vanilla color for the perfect kind of base on the eyes. Then over here, this shade really surprised me. It is this dusty rose champagne. And in the pan, it doesn't necessarily kind of pop when you're looking at it. But that is this one right here. Let me see if I can get a good angle right here on your eyes, you guys. This is a really unique and beautiful color. I'm like loving it. And then over here, we've got this burnished copper, absolutely gorgeous. And then it ends with a matte gray. So this is a swatch of Cougar. And this particular collection is supporting the important conservation work of Yellowstone Forever and Amazon Sacred Headwaters Initiative. I'm gonna swatch this black Jaguar this is absolutely stunning here. And here is a swatch of Black Jaguar. It includes this gorgeous chromatic pearl. Next to it is a shimmering bronze, a dazzling ink blue, and then a matte black. I'm really excited to use this one as well. I think you can really do a stunning eye look with this black jaguar. Okay, now we are going to create an eye look using this gorgeous cougar eye quartet. And these colors are right up my alley, as you can imagine. I actually love the black jaguar as well. 
but we're going to go ahead and start with the Cougar Eye Quartet because that is the one I got the most requests to use first. I'm going to start with this cream color right up at the top and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. Just a nice little base color there. Then we're going to come into this shade over here and I am going to start to add a little bit of that in my crease. I love that color. Really pretty. I am using Wayne Goss number 16 brush. So Cougar is perfect for an everyday look, but also for a smoky eye. So I just love these colors. And so far on the eyes, I have just put on the creamy vanilla all over as a base. And then I use that dusty rose champagne right in the crease. And to be honest, you could just leave it this way, throw on a little eyeliner as well as mascara and kind of use that as your everyday eye look. But we're gonna go ahead and smoke it out. I wanna use this gorgeous copper as well. Now I want to bring in a little bit of this burnished copper and I'm actually gonna start with that on the outer V and then we'll see if we want to bring a little bit more in. It is such a beautiful color and I'm using it on a flat brush here and I just want to pack on a little bit of this pigment and it's got such a pretty pretty finish to it. So I'm just going to start over here and then if we want to build we can. Using whatever's left on the brush and I want to bring a little bit of that underneath my lash line. Coming back through with this fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend that out a little. I love that burnished copper. I'm just intensified on the outer part of the eyes. I want to go back in with that champagne rose color because I want to keep the inner part just a little bit lighter. So just placing a little bit more of that there and just softening everything up. Really pretty color story here. Then I'm going to go in with this matte gray and we are going to smoke that near the lash line and I am using a refer number 23. This is sort of a thin pencil kind of brush and I'm going to bring it close to the lash line here. We're first going to smoke it out with shadow. I am going to use one of my favorite eyeliners along with this look. 
but for those of you that do not use eyeliner, we're going to show you how to use it with shadow. I'm taking a teeny bit of that gray down underneath as well. Okay, this is what I've created so far. And I also think that you could totally smoke this out, use this beautiful burnished copper all over the lid, kind of play up the gray and use that on the outer V. So I think we're gonna wanna create a more glam look using this cougar in a different video. But for today's purposes, I thought I would just do more of an everyday eye look using cougar because I think it lends itself really well to that. And I am gonna be using the Shantakai Luster Glide Eyeliner. And I am going to just tight line the upper lash line with that slate color. Really pops the eyes here. And if you have been watching my channel for a bit, you will know that slate is my ultimate favorite eyeliner from Chantecaille. I have recently fallen in love with Earth, which would also look amazing with this eye quartet. I feel like Slate really works well with this because it has that gray tone in it. And I find that Slate is just a little bit softer than Black or Raven. I prefer it over that just because it's just a teeny bit softer. I feel like there's a little bit of blue in it so it sort of pops my eyes. But I also think this would look gorgeous with Earth eyeliner, which is gonna be an earthy dark brown. Jasper would also look gorgeous, which is a bronzy brown shade, but I wanted to kind of play up the grays in this cougar eye look. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my Holy Grail mascara. This is Chantecaille's Faux Seal Longest Lash Mascara. So I'm gonna go do that, clean up my brows, and then we'll have a little bit of fun playing with the lip cheeks. Okay, now that we have the Cougar Eye Quartet on, I wanna go ahead and do lip swatches of the Cougar Lip Sheeks. I'm also gonna go ahead and swatch the Jaguar, but we will do another video using the Black Jaguar. Really excited about that one as well. But I'm going to start with Yarrow. This is in the Cougar Lip Sheek, and this is a beautiful peachy nude. This is the shade Yarrow. And then we have got the beautiful shade Prairie Smoke. And this shade is a mocha nude. And the lip cheeks are one of my favorite formula because they have hyaluronic acid that's gonna help plump up the lips. They are just very hydrating, glossy, and I find them to be very youthful on the lips. So I'm gonna start with the lighter shade, Yarrow. And here is the shade Yarrow. This is a beautiful peach nude. Next we have Prairie Smoke. This is a mocha nude. And this is the shade Prairie Smoke. Moving on to the Cougar Lip Sheeks, we have Passiflora, which is a rich mauve. Love this color. This is Passiflora. And then we've got this beautiful color in Orchid, which is a rich berry tone. So pretty. 
So this one is Passiflora and this one is Orchid. I'm going to start with Passiflora. This is the shade Passiflora. Next is Orchid. And this is the shade Orchid. So this is Chantecaille's Fall 2022 collection. I will say totally in love with this eye quartet. I think I love it because it gives you the option for an everyday eye as well as a beautiful smoky eye. So as the weather is getting a little bit cooler, I do love to put on a bit more of a smoky eye with my sweaters and I just think this is gorgeous. So love the colors and then they stand out color over here as I said that kind of looks a little bit blah in the pan but is a surprise hit is that rosy champagne color. Um, I just think it looks stunning on the eye. And then as far as the lip cheeks, I actually like both of them. I am not someone who gravitates necessarily towards those peachy nudes but I really liked this one because it didn't actually make me look dead. I do think that I could apply a little bit of a nude lip liner just to define the lips a bit more but really thought this was a gorgeous color but my favorite was the prairie smoke this is this beautiful mocha nude and it's a little bit like my lips but better so absolutely love that one and as far as the cougar lip cheeks, I love both of them, but that's because I gravitate towards those berry and mauve tones. And this Passiflora is my perfect everyday shade. Love, love, love. But for a more bold lip, the orchid is just gorgeous. So I really like that. And I can't wait to play with the Black Jaguar Eye Quartet. And that will be coming up next. So having a lot of fun with this collection so far. Totally not disappointed. The formula of these shadows are fantastic just like previous quartets. I love the color story and I love the fact that they created like an everyday eye quad with the cougar that a lot of people would be attracted to but they also have this beautiful black jaguar that has this kind of pop of that ink blue which is so pretty. So I am going to try to do something a little bit more bold when I use that black jaguar eye quartet. Just super pretty. So I've been so excited for this launch and I have to say I have not been disappointed yet. So if you are a fellow Chantecaille fan I think you're really going to like this fall 2022 collection. Okay guys thank you so much for watching and I will be back with another video soon.